Hey guys, and welcome to The Love Chest. My name is Adironke Adibanjo, creator of The Love Chest. Thank you so much for coming back to watch yet another episode of The Love Chest. So today, I thought that I should share with the ladies what they need to know about men, because I did this in season one. I shared with the men things that they need to know about women. So today's episode is seven things women need to know about men. Now, I'm doing this because I honestly believe that in a relationship, right, it's really important to seek first to understand and then be understood, right? Um, many times it's the reverse. We want to be understood before we understand where the other person is coming from. But sometimes I think it's important to understand um, the other person first. So seeking first, to un you've heard that quote before, right? And seek first to understand and then be understood. All right, so with that said, the first thing that the ladies need to know about men is Men, and this is no disrespect to the gentlemen, but men are absolutely clueless. Okay, what do I mean by that? So I don't know if it's because men tend to compartmentalize things. I don't even know where it comes from. But a lot of guys are just clueless about a lot of things, right? So for example, you're with a guy, right ladies? And you are upset. Man, he doesn't know that you're upset. And then he doesn't know why you're upset because he did something, right? And he doesn't even realize that what he did offended you. And then you tell him and he acts completely clueless. Like to him, it was not a big deal, but to you it was. That's an example. Guys are absolutely clueless about some of the stuff that they do, about some of the stuff that they say. So when a guy acts clueless, right? Many a times, they're actually not acting. It's not an act. It's actually what it is. Um, they just don't know. They just don't know so you're giving a guy green light sometimes and he's just not picking up on it or i don't know whatever it is think of all the examples where you just feel like a guy was just acting clueless usually guys are clueless right so ladies don't be too offended this is why us being implicit about stuff doesn't help the situation either right so a guy asks you the typical question the classic example so babe what's wrong and you say nothing yeah, that's not helping because generally speaking, men are already clueless to start with. So when you start asking them to read your mind or whatnot, they have a hard time. So that would be the first thing. Second thing, ladies, that I think women need to know about guys is that men are actually just as frustrated about the dating scene as women are. If you're single and you're a woman, depending on what city you're in, and what the situation is like in terms of the dating scene in that city, you might be frustrated, right? About maybe not, maybe it's being, maybe it's a little hard for you to find love. You just can't seem to find a great guy, all of that. Well, I just want to let you guys know that the men are complaining as well. Now, why the right people aren't, don't seem to be meeting in bigger cities. I don't have the answer to that just yet, but I will tell you that the guys are just as frustrated because women will say stuff like, well, you know, I'm the woman, especially for more traditional women. I'm the woman, I have to sit around and wait for a guy to come after me. So guys have it easy. At least they're the hunters. At least they're the ones going out to do all the hunting. I can tell you this much. Um, for the good guys, not the players now, but the good guys who really want to settle down, they're actually having a hard time as well. So just something to keep in mind. How are we gonna get people together? Still trying to figure that one out, but just so the ladies know, the men are having a hard time as well. So ladies, the third thing you need to know about men is, yep, they are visual, which you already knew, but they are a lot more visual than you probably realized. You will be amazed how a guy will I don't know, turn down an amazing woman based on physical attributes. You'll be amazed. So if you've ever found yourself in a situation, ladies, where you're just like, is he crazy? I don't know, you're just like, why are men just not, you feel like you're a great catch, right? But it just doesn't seem to be happening or maybe happening with the guys that you like, that might be it. And doesn't mean there's anything wrong with you, ladies. It just means that guys are really visual and maybe you just don't meet their specifications and so they're looking for something else right um so guys are visual you probably already knew that but they are a lot more visual than we actually realize um, a lot of them have their specs some of them kind of go outside of that and, and test other you know specs so to speak but generally speaking guys are very particular about physical stuff about a woman's looks and all of that and it's a lot more important to them than we probably even realized the fourth thing is that men are emotional too 
some of you knew this already, right? Um, but guys are, are actually pretty emotional. And you know what, guys? It's actually kind of cute, you know? And this is why I think that it's important to let your guy let his guard down. Men cry, let me tell you. They be crying, yo. They cry. They are just as heartbroken when there's a breakup. They, um, I mean, they're emotional as well. And I think that it's important for, your, for you to allow your man to express those emotions and to be vulnerable with you, right? So um, yeah, they're, they're actually pretty emotional. And like I said, it's kind of cute when you allow a guy to be vulnerable in front of you. So yeah, keep that in mind, ladies. Behind all of that machismo are or is a lot of mushy guys. A lot of guys hide behind the machismo, but they're actually quite emotional, more emotional than you probably even realize. The fifth thing ladies need to know about guys, and it's interesting because we always talk about how much women talk. Women talk about relationships all the time. They get together, they're on the phone, they get together for dinner, they're always talking about relationships. This is just an, more of an observation, right? Men talk as well, right? Men talk probably just as much as women do about relationships. Now, what's interesting to me though, and this is just more of a piece of information. I don't know that there's really much you can do with this, but something that I observed is that when men are talking about relationships, and maybe this is in an attempt to not come off as mushy, they tend to do it over competitive stuff. Let me give you an example. If a guy wants to go heart to heart with another guy, they'll probably talk about it over a game of football or basketball or a game of cards or some PlayStation or something. So they're in the middle of the game and they're talking, right? They're talking, but they're still doing manly stuff in the process. I think that that's kind of a cover. So, cause you know, some men would think that it's awkward to sit down with another man and have a heart to heart. Although among best friends that might happen from time to time, but Again, this is more of just a piece of information that I've observed. Guys talk, they really get into it. And I'm not talking about the nasty stuff. I'm talking about heart to heart type conversations where they actually need advice about relationships from another guy, but they tend to do it over macho type stuff, which I think is really interesting. The sixth thing I think ladies need to know about men, I was reading a book, I'm still reading it actually, as we speak, <laughs> called The Rules of Love. It's a great book. And the author had a chapter in there called men like flowers too and when i read that oh lord it just warmed my heart because it's so true now not flowers not like a bouquet of flowers come on now that would be weird although maybe there are some men that you know like flowers i actually saw on valentine's day recently a woman bought her husband blue roses which i thought was very interesting but not those type of flowers i'm talking about gifts you know when was the last time you got your guy a just because gift Men like flowers too. Men like gifts. And what that statement simply means is that li men like gifts as well. They like to be given stuff too, you know? And I think sometimes women forget that, you know? It's always about, he didn't do this, he didn't do that, you know? But I think it goes, it definitely goes two ways on the flowers. And last but not least, you guys, the seventh thing I need, ladies, I think women need to know about guys rather is men also need to be affirmed. You know, I talked about machismo earlier on, and it's so true, men are very macho and whatnot, but men, I can tell you, they need to hear those words from us ladies. Just as much as we like to hear the compliments and the nice words and the kind words and the sweet words, um, men like to hear that they're appreciated as well. They like to know that they're loved. They like to know that they're looking good. They like to they like to hear this kind of stuff as well. Men really do need to be affirmed, you know. Um, I don't mean this in a disrespectful disrespectful way. What I'm about to say, but behind every man is a little boy who just wants to know that he's getting it right. Um, so don't hold back, ladies, on the compliments when it comes to guys. Just as we wouldn't want them to do that to us, let's try. Let's try to be a little more. Um, what's the word now? Generous with our affirm, you know, in our in our affirming guys and saying nice things to them because guys actually need to hear this stuff so guys those are the seven things was it what you were expecting let me know gentlemen if i nailed it and ladies let me know your thoughts as well but guys please add to the list what else do you think women need to know about you guys i know we always talk about oh men are simple men are logical yeah we know that kind of stuff but there are other things that we need to know about men as well that i thought i'd share from my observations i thought i'd take a stab at it so let me know your thoughts guys and Remember to thumbs up if you like the video and also to subscribe. Send me an email, thelovechest at gmail.com. Visit the website, thelovechest.com. Follow me on Instagram at thelovechest and on Twitter at thelovechesttv. My name is Adironke. Thank you so very much for watching. I'll see you guys next time.